past few years, we have uh, seen an alarming increase in domestic anti-Semitism and white supremacism supremacist extremism, from neo-Nazis chanting, Jews will not replace us in Charlottesville, to the deadliest attack against the Jewish community in modern American history at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. Just this month, we saw you American citizens lay siege to the U.S. Capitol, waving Confederate flags, hanging a noose on the West Front Lawn, and wearing Camp Auschwitz t-shirts. Despite the fact that DHS concluded last year that racially and ethnically motivated violent extremists, specifically white supremacist extremists, will remain the most persistent and lethal threat in the homeland, the department has not adequately invested in combating domestic threats. I'd like to talk a little bit about our nonprofit security grant program. FEMA provides this to synagogues, Jewish community centers, other nonprofits, houses of worship all across this country to protect against terrorist attack. And in recent years, DHS offices, have, we have tried to prevent domestic terrorism, but we've faced major cuts in personnel and funding. The department lacks a coherent strategy to combat anti-Semitism and white supremacist extremism online, which far too often, unfortunately, manifests itself in real life actions. I'm co-chair of the Senate Bipartisan Task Force Combating Anti-Semitism, along with Senator Langford. Um, but I'd like to ask you, what are your plans for addressing anti-Semitism and really tackling these online platforms that are promoting anti-Semitism? Senator, um, I am um, profoundly aware of the threat and existence of anti-Semitism in our country and the world. My mother lost her paternal grandparents and seven uncles by reason of their Jewish faith in the Holocaust. My mother fled her home with her parents because of the Holocaust. I have dedicated a considerable amount of my personal and professional energy to battling anti-Semitism and discrimination of all forms. Most recently, I served on the advisory board of the Secure Community Network, uh, sponsored by the Jewish Federation to protect day schools, synagogues, and places of worship. I've worked with the Anti-Defamation League to battle uh, discrimination and hate of all forms. Under my leadership as the Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security, uh, we grew the nonprofit grant program to best protect minority communities, communities of faith from the scourge of hate. And I would be privileged to work with you in this committee to make sure that we build on those advances and once and for all uh, tackle this challenge that has caused so much pain to so many. Thank you. I have more questions. If there's a second round, uh, I'll yield back my time. 